find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Hey guys, it's time to get geeky, get nerdy. It's time for the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter on the Mayhem on the seat in the Mayhem Studio down here in Pittsburgh, PA, in the wonderful Beachview District. Uh, but anyways, with me we got a whole bunch of people here uh, in studio. We'll start there first. First of all, back in the studio, back in the studio. A eh? it is John Chichilla. Hey, how's it going? Where's the camera? I mean, where's the oh, camera? it's over there. there <laughs> it is. I saw it up there earlier, and I was doing a bunch of stuff, and it, it's it's invisible switching between cameras. Hidden cameras. They're, they're everywhere. Just, be- just became a hidden camera show, Chilla. Welcome, <laughs> welcome. How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? All right. It's gonna me... be back in studio. It is good. It's good. I don't know. We, we had fun with our our mobile uh, situation last week, right? We didn't burn anything down. Uh, it worked this time, uh, so I'm I'm really happy with that. How that turned out. Nice. So also with that, there he is. He's uh Frank Mergy. Of the podcast, ah, damn it, Pittsburgh Podcast Network. I'm sorry, I've been saying Podcamp Pittsburgh for so long. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I have been screwing it up the last few weeks shirt. so yeah. bad. So, <laughs> how you I'm doing? Wearing, good. I'm wearing a Podcamp Seven shirt. Mm-hmm. You can see it. One of the free ones you had in the box. <laughs> <laughs> still fits me barely it's a large i grew out of it there it is there it is um of course we had, we just had a, a great interview with him uh on the awesome chat i don't know it's not so much an interview we just kind of bs about podcasting yeah it was like hanging out like just having a beer or a cup of coffee and when we first met we just kind of talked podcasting and realized i god we both love it let's just talk about it I, some I, more and I, I think we business propositioned each other in the course of the podcast <laughs> we too. did so we thought of three ideas like, and like dude you're coming to the studio we're doing this it's gonna be great somebody steal this idea i'm like well, okay sure <laughs> that's right that's right yeah we, we have like three new ideas that we blew up and told went oh, public shit. <laughs> and then there he is uh get, yeah, I, i'm sorry uh, uh, I just got followed by a pretty short every account, Frank. <laughs> we talked about that earlier. <laughs> that I remember like 10 accounts. Follow, follow, follow. I want 10 back now. Can I get 10 back? <laughs> I, have, well, I have three, three accounts that I can follow back on. I'll take um, them. I think okay. I gave you five. Five for three. We'll take it. <laughs> there um, it is. That voice. It's Anthony Walker. Chachi of Chachi's Chachi plays of course chachiplays.com chachi says on the twitter insert coin to begin.com i think i still have chachi plays on your on your title actually so that's fine we can advertise chachi plays there you go it's a thing that i am did. not not worried about that at all nope 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 it's a donate button well, I'm back. you're back again so, it, it hasn't been on in years and now it's like pretty much once a month we're catching up yeah. we're catching yeah. up maybe we'll put them in the regular rotation you know yeah. right yeah. so i mean i'm normally available on tuesdays i'm just throwing it out there he's kind of a big deal <laughs> and I am kind the, of a big on deal on the internet <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and not to brag of nothing but i i have a pretty big following for being essentially no one for essentially being an angry it guy on the twitter and, right. and rolling no, down. see, the angry IT angle didn't really work for me. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, that actually was uh, a hindrance. So I'm back to being a happy, nerdy, uh, full on. Oh, good. Oh, good. And of course, uh, we got a text. Uh, Missy is back uh, helping us with show notes tonight. Uh, says, I ain't your follow back, girl. <laughs> also, needs to be a t-shirt. We got two t-shirt ideas out of tonight. This oh is fantastic. Gosh, right. I forgot the first one. What was it? We it was, uh, oh no, somebody put it in the chat. I, uh, somebody, somebody oh, it it's a podcast night in Pittsburgh. It's a podcast night in Pittsburgh. <laughs> somebody somebody put, make sure those are noted so we can uh, t-shirt those later. Uh, but anyways... But this is your awesome cast. We like to get geeky here. Uh, we're going to talk about the news for the week, awesome things of the week, so much more. Uh, you can check us out at awesomecast.net for this and the awesome channel. We'll be talking with Frank. That'll be released later here in the week, usually Thursdays, and all the past ones as well. You can follow us on the social media. Uh, look for Awesome Cast on the Facebook, on the Twitter, on the Google Plus. I need to stop. I, I I I don't know. I feel so bad. I'm so conflicted about just ditching Google Plus, even though I still use it. But anyways, um, we're not doing anything on there for Awesome Cast. I'll be honest. Hi Frank, or uh, 
or, uh, Matt, I'm sorry, Matt Weller, that uh, comments on our posts over there all the time. Thank you for keeping it alive. Uh, and also, you can drop us a line, awesomecast at uh, sorgatronmedia.com. And uh, please, and, and throughout the week, let us know like any stories that have kind of caught your attention, anything like that, and we definitely uh, bring them in for consideration. Actually, I think I got one or two. I got at least one in the rundown. I, th I don't think I included Katie's yet because uh, I want to investigate a little more. When she comes back from the beach, uh, she's uh, making all of us jealous, periscoping from the beach uh, the, the last couple of days. So <laughs> She was up early this morning because I got a periscope notification. And yep, I, yep. Like and a, she was parasailing? <laughs> was she parasailing? No, it was periscoping. the sunrise. Oh. It was the sunrise. So it was so early. I'm like, why? What is this? It's not even time to get up yet. <laughs> it is at the beach. And uh, well, and then, and then I followed through and it, her, her, it was up from uh, the night before the, the sunset. So she ah. was connecting the dots on Periscope, apparently. So, uh, no, I was watching the one where she walked, like, into the ocean with oh. her. She's, again, she has with a her. Life she has a life-proof case, and she's going to use it. So, uh, so uh, Kate Dutter is on the Twitter if you want to see her Periscopes in a cooler place than we are right now. Uh, well, no, not a cooler place. That's not fair. A sandier place, I guess. Warmer place a little bit, uh, especially today. Holy crap. Uh, but it is not a weather podcast. Um, also, please, if you want, you can support us. Patreon.com slash AwesomeCast. We got one out there that's been supporting us for several weeks now. Thistle Sea Business Development in Cran Cranberry Township, PA. Please contact me. I want to know more about you. <laughs> But you're getting plugs here. You can look up Thistle Sea Business Development. They support the awesome cast, so support whatever it is they do up there, please. Uh, so, <laughs> and uh, you can do you can uh, uh, do that as well. And, and maybe you got something you just want to have a plug, like Thistle Sea Business Development and Cranberry PA. You can go on there, contribute. We'll mention you on the show. We'll give you a plug and uh, to our our our. Our awesome, our awesome audience out here. And you can join us here live every Tuesday at live.awesomecast.net, just like Wheels does, just like, uh, just like uh, Bell and Marguerite, 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 Marguerite. Hi, how you doing? I'm sorry about that. Uh, at live.awesomecast.net, starting about uh, 6:30 p.m. Eastern time uh, over there, and sometimes a little earlier if we got an interview lined up. So keep an eye on that on the Twitters. Sometimes I'll actually hit start on the YouTube live and there will be something going on there. Like I kind of screwed up earlier tonight, but uh, let's get into it with our, with our awesome things of the week. Uh, guys, I, I usually try not to, but I have to go first on this. Chachi, I know you saw this one. Uh, I, I think I hit you up with this earlier this week, uh, but did you guys see, or maybe you guys were participating in the uh, chat roulette. Hold on. Which one's my face? There we are. Uh, the chat roulette users stumble into a live-action zombie shooter. Amazing. I watched the entire 10-minute video. So basically, you're in chat roulette. Do uh, do we need a refresher on what chat roulette is? I, I you know, it's the thing where you you go on the site and you randomly chat with somebody with your webcam. It can get dangerous and naked sometimes. Okay. Um. So so there's that. Or apparently there can be zombies, as these guys set up. These guys spent about fifteen hundred dollars U.S. It's a production company called Realm Pictures, and they basically set up. Or let me first let me show you like the experience for you guys on on video uh they went in there and and you drop in this chat roulette and they show like kind of the best of a bunch of people kind of into this there's a guy there's a voiceover guy he's got a crowbar he's changing weapons there's an entire interface like you're playing doom or half-life or something and you're telling the person what to do and he even like holds his hands up in front of the camera which is a bicycle helmet with a gopro on it and so it's just like like when there's a gun in front of you like he's making sure to hold it in in that way so it's got that feel like a video game to it really well done yes the zombies look fake as hell but um but but for fifteen hundred dollars i think they did really good with this thing okay that you have guns that are basically nerf guns that they repainted to look real um and 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 just the reactions and and making the guy jump and making the guy like look into things for like extra guns or hand grenades and stuff uh and there's even like a giant boss battle at the end i don't want to spoil for you by showing right here and and, and they they also of course have uh if i'm on the right computer a little bit of a behind the scenes about like exactly how how they did this and and they brought in like a bunch of extras from the local town and everything uh it is a really cool concept uh they use the gopro camera light on on the helmet of course and a Teradek HDMI transmitter, something I'm looking into after this, by the way, because yeah, I could have course. a lot. Yeah, of, I could are. have a lot of fun. Chachik, if we gave you a transmitter and you didn't have wires or ringside, could you imagine? 
I would have a blast. You would get more shots of wrestlers jumping over me, essentially. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I Although, would always be in the way. I'm, sh- I, I'm sure it's more expensive than an indie wrestling budget, but we're still going to look into it. <laughs> but, uh, but just all around, uh, you know, knowing friends of ours that are in, into haunted houses and everything, uh, seeing like this interactive kind of thing happening is pretty tremendous. Um, uh, Chachi, did you take a look at this video? You're you're no, you're, a, you're a resident um, zombie expert here. I, I'm gonna be honest with you, Sorg. Hmm. Um, ever since Thursday of last week, I kind of stopped paying attention to all news and all other forms of entertainment because uh, it's little league time. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I'm not afraid to admit I'm a huge fan of the Little League World Series. Okay, okay, so we're playing so catch that, up with you tonight. What's that? We're playing catch up with you tonight as we go through these. Essentially, um, I- I'm getting all my news from this this vidcast right now. Awesome. Did awesome. Mexico beat Chinese Taipei tonight? Yes, and that angered me. <laughs> Every year, I want Chinese Taipei to make it, and they <laughs> always lose. I was watching it before I got here. <laughs> I was. I was. I was like, oh my gosh. I love like I'm watching Twitter. It's like, oh, it's Little League time again. We've lost yep. Chachi for the weekend, and I feel yep. so bad making him work Saturday night. <laughs> But anyway, no, it's fine. The, the game's typically over by eight or nine o'clock, anyhow. Oh, so of course, the kids got to go to bed. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. <laughs> they have a curfew. I, I nope. love, I love this video though. If you just watch it, Chachi, it, it I, I thought it was brilliant. I'm a video game player, not a hardcore player. I play a lot of sports games, and I, I figure I'm done buying these sports games. They can't go any further. I wanted until what? I could see a human running through my screen. And can control that human. I'm done with video games, and mm-hmm. they, they kind of just did it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, think of the other kind of games you can apply to something like this, oh. right? And and, 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 that, and that you have unsuspecting people that just dropped into chat roulette and they got this situation. <laughs> like, seems some of the reactions. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> but seeing people like, but but then, like a lot. And I'm sure there's a bunch of people that just like didn't so, go into it or went off in a weird direction. But uh, but but still, to to you know. That they got into it, and they're like, "Oh, I know what to do here." And there's few things that, like, I when they're like, "Oh, look in that crypt over there," I'm like, "Oh, there's going to be nothing in that crypt." They didn't actually think of that. They thought of head and put something in the crypt, and that's exactly the place you would hide something like that in a video game of this nature, right, Chach? It would be, and I, 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 I'll watch the whole ten minute video because you know me, and it's zombies and uh, interactive games, so mm-hmm. um, that hits that hits a lot of my buttons. Um, Right off the top of my head, uh, Grand Theft Auto, as Frank said, um, Skyrim would be interesting to see how they do, uh, mm-hmm. considering that there's dragons. <laughs> ah. So I'd like to see how they would pull something like that off as well. This uh, it's a great start, though. I mean, $1,500 budget is a lot to spend on something that you're focusing on chat roulette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, of course, they got a great video out of it afterwards, too. Chilla? What, did they say what they were using for the overlays? I missed what. You, you lost uh, me. As soon as you said wireless HDMI, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Out. There's a whole thing. Hold <laughs> on. Let me, let me see. Let me see. Cause, so, it's like, even the voice you hear isn't the guy. It's a voice art. It's a voice actor somewhere else. So there's like this command center. I'll see if I can pull up where they're talking about it. So everything's transmitted in. The on-screen graphics are being uh, uh, hotkeyed by somebody on a laptop. It, yeah, what were they using to to build that piece? Oh, what I don't, I don't know. I honestly they, don't like know. I mean, I'm sure you can like get a... into it. It's not. It's definitely not Wirecast. <laughs> it's something a little uh, higher end than Wirecast. Hold on, let me bring up the video here. So here's a uh, there's a little bit of that boss I was talking about. Uh, but so you get in here, and there's a little bit of the setup there. They got these uh, transceivers coming in. They're on social media, uh, and 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 they have like a guy on the graphics, a guy on uh, audio, like I said, uh, and, and a guy like. Like there's a point where it says type start to begin, so I, I there's a chat room on chat roulette, mm-hmm. right? So they're seeing somebody press P or press start to enact things, and they're relaying that to the guy somehow too. So I think they're like in his ear saying, "Okay, he said to do this. Hey, do this. You know, hey, go over here and do this." So which also adds to that awkwardness of making somebody do something, which actually <laughs> relates to that awkwardness of making you somebody do something on a gamepad that's not mm-hmm. a 3D space, you know? Um, so. Yeah, this is the setup with this giant screen and everything this guy's showing off. And, wow. uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's some kind of specialized software, I'm sure. He's got some kind of Q box there. Um, well, working Max, if you're curious, uh, from the looks of things. Oh, not all of it. There's an Asus laptop on the left there, actually. So That's running the chat roulette. Uh, the Asus? What, we I can't run joking. chat roulette on the Mac? What's wrong with that? <laughs> I was just saying, what, the, what's the, going on here? The Asus can't handle all the video editing oh, and yeah. video compiling. 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jeez. Um, Chat roulette on the Mac. <laughs> I'm blown by the way. I'm blown away by this, Michael. My head is spinning inside right now, just thinking of wh- where this could go. Yeah, yeah. Where do you apply this from here? So I think it'd be a lot of fun. Oh. Um, but yeah, even there was like a. Yeah, there's there there. Oh, 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 sorry. There was there, there in the room, and I love the voice actor is like is wearing like a Batman shirt in this. <laughs> Hold on, see if I can pop over that again. There he is. There he is. Full on Batman shirt. And it comes back around. Uh, thank. Sorry, audio people. Uh, but you have to watch this video seriously. Just uh, it will have a link. It's on the social media and everything. Um, the uh, it's an article in Engash. It actually is where we found this. Chat roulette users stumble into a live action zombie shooter. Really, just chat roulette zombies will probably find you yeah. too if you're if you're mobile or anything like that. So now I'm I'm, I'm tagging this Teradek cube that brings live streaming to any camera, just don't tell Charlie Sheen. How old was this article? Holy crap. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you get the idea. Um, and uh, da, 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 what, 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 so, I don't know. It, it, go check that out. It was a really cool thing. Uh, so let's roll over Chilla with your awesome thing. So, so I was actually going to cover this, and we didn't have some of the tech hooked up at PodCamp. Um, so mine's the DX01 camera. Okay. And it's actually a lightning adapter camera that hooks into the bottom of your iPhone Ooh. and uses like a DSLR grade um, lens. Okay. But then it uses the iPhone as like your rig to control like was, Zoom and was this on Mac break? I think it was on Mac break. Okay. They, they started talking about it and then it sounded like. Alex Lindsay's using it, but he really wasn't allowed to talk very much about it, other than what what the public knew. Right. Kind of thing. So I, and they didn't. He didn't even allude to the fact that they would have a website up and running. So I, I obviously started looking around, and they do have a full fledged website with full fledged specs for the device. Wow. Um, I mean, to me, this is a really nice device, and it really extends the capability of. Unfortunately, it's obviously iphone only but um it, it really bumps the quality mm-hmm. to 20.2 megapixels max aperture 1.8 i mean it, it, it's a really 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 nice device um depending on what the next iphone looks like i may end up picking this up um depending on what they do with their um camera upgrade and I, I'm a little hesitant based on the fact that it, it has to plug into that bottom port, um, which makes me a little nervous because what happens if they go to USB-C right. sometime soon? Right. But the quality images that I'm seeing on this and on Alex Lindsay's Facebook, um, things of that nature, make me really think about picking this up. Because to me, it really... They always say the best camera is the one you have with you. Um, and... I'm trying to slim down my bag, not put more cameras in it. <laughs> right, right. Um, it's, and this kind of makes... It's another little gadget that... that uh, thankfully, it's not an entire other gadget. Right. But still. But so right now, I carry... I actually carry a 20 megapixel mm-hmm. zoom lens Android Samsung Galaxy camera with right, me. Right, right. Which, that's bulky. Which is... Yeah, it's very bulky. And it's it's a whole other battery I have to charge. It's a whole other thing I have to worry about having app updates for. Right. This kind of gets it, it downsizes the device it downsizes this is my as need. much as another iphone yes it is. <laughs> i've noticed so, though. So, so the price is what is the number 599 for a pre-order can we swear on this podcast a little bit <laughs> we already did <laughs> well the new iphone 6s september 18th pre-order starts that's what i was waiting for maybe to get out of my blackberry uh-huh. and i was thinking oh my uh-huh. god this would be great i've got a new iphone i can get this but boy that's your thousand bucks with a phone and right. that but the, but compares the comparatively if you're replacing a dslr right with this that's i mean that's what we're aiming to at, right that's right? what i'm looking at that's that's okay. my point is i'm looking at replacing i don't want another dslr to carry on me but if i just have this little thing to add on to this and the price that kind of works out right yes i mean you look at like even like going into like a a model back from a canon or a nikon you're you're spending at least that so yeah so that's where i'm looking at it from the aspect of it's 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 not it's the same cost as i would spend on that but it's that much less that i can throw in the bag mm -hmm. Um, that's kind of where i'm what i'm looking at it from that's But, but what worries me is because it plugs into the bottom port yeah 
what what Apple needs to tell me, or I have to have some concept that I'm going to have this for a while. Okay. For more for more than a year. Uh, yeah. Oh, so you want yeah. you want it? I I you know I feel like I feel like whatever you buy for your iPhone now, you shouldn't expect it to work for that new iPhone two years from now. Like, see the charge the adapters. I think you I know should. you want to, but like, look how long even, thirty pin lasted. And the that's, thirty pin lasted, but when you upgraded to a uh, couple OSs ago, my thirty pin adapter stopped working for H- HDMI. Well, it still works on mine. You are a, have a luckier <laughs> dongle than mine. <laughs> I, I mean, guess. I have the Apple dongle. Yeah, yeah, I got the Apple one too, but it it, it wouldn't oh. work anymore. Maybe it was an early, maybe it was just, just the point version or something. And they yeah. fixed it later, but but it did cut out, and I stopped using it, and now I have no idea where it's at because I stopped using it. So because that's what I was using to to push stuff to my TV that wasn't like on. I don't know. Did I even have a Chromecast at the time? I guess you know because mm-hmm. I mean we didn't have a lot on Chromecast at the right at that point. So awesome, Frank. Do you have an awesome thing of the week? I have a couple. I obviously, I'm going to pick one, and mm-hmm. we just, I think I'm going to change it because um, we had talked about <laughs> off-screen BlackBerry uh, going to a little Android model with a, with a slider <laughs> and a keyboard. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, awesome. I won't get an iPhone. Maybe I'll just wait for the next BlackBerry. Then I just figured that that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's not going to work the first now, time are, out, are you Are you like a long-time BlackBerry? Have you been like BlackBerry or bus for the long – like – Forever, you know, basically? It's, it's, it's weird. I was when I lived in California. I was yeah. in television. Blackberry, Blackberry, Blackberry. Yeah. Then I got all, all the fancy Mac stuff, you know, and then I became a Mac boy. I had the, uh, you know, iPhone 3, 4, 5, and I just didn't like the 5 or the 6. I didn't like where they're going with sizes. Yeah. Tall, thin, big. I don't like a big phone. Uh-huh. Um, I just stopped liking the iPhone. I still love my Mac desktop, my laptop, my iPad. I started hating the iPhone. Like video games, I just felt like... It, Outside of the camera, it's not giving me anything new that I would use that mm-hmm. I like. So I and then I so I went to a Galaxy Note. Galaxy Note. That's bit, a huge. Fight. I know. I know. <laughs> I go. I go. Screw it. I, I didn't go. like the size. It was too big. I, I went to. So I went so, bigger. I like the uh, the stylus. I go. I'm in. And then I dropped it. And then and then I got another one. I got the insurance. Ah, okay, I get. I got the insurance. That's fine. And boom, I dropped that one. It's just too. It was too big. But I wanted it. It was new. It was fancy. Oh, I could be cool. Look at me. I got this note. And I kept dropping. Okay, I was right. No more big phones. I'm done with the big phones. But I'm out of contract. I'm out of insurance. Uh, I had to wait for my contract renewal. So I just got a BlackBerry for 100 bucks off of City Paper or Craigslist. And my contract is uh, renewable next year or next month. So I was thinking about going to the iPhone 6 Plus. No, the 6S. 6S comes out September 18th for pre-order. Like, okay, I'll go back to iPhone and get rid of the BlackBerry. But then I see this. It's a BlackBerry Android. It has a slider, a keyboard. I don't know. So, so I thought it was kind of awesome but confusing and ugh. So if you if you scroll down in the show notes And I don't have a I don't have a link there, I'm sorry, Michael is Blackberry. Oh, wait, wait, we need to point this out while we're uh, 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 making judgments on his Blackberry choice. Uh he he doesn't he didn't have an iPad. So he printed out the show notes. I, I have an iPad. I didn't have it with me at with work. Him. <laughs> I printed out the, the show notes, the rundown. I'm old school. Like I was a television producer back in the day. <laughs> I love this. Print, I love print, this. Print it. You got to have your notes with you. And I, I love this. Out. We've had people from the newspaper thing. on and they didn't bring paper things with them. Okay. <laughs> I have all, I have all <laughs> my notes. Look at all this. I got notes. I got rundowns. I got reference. I just love old school paper. Like boom, I feel, boom, you boom. It looks very John Stewart over there. <laughs> yeah. So throw it at the screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome awesome but, but if you go down in the notes so if you go down in the notes yeah and you look at blackberry is going to make a comeback no seriously oh do we have it in the notes i, I threw it into the notes oh good good, okay. good um it's the blackberry venice the blackberry venice is correct um, oh so that. so this is this is was this was almost my awesome thing of the week as well um this was kind of runner up look at uh, that thing. i figured um, i would take it because it was on my list right. as well i go we'll both get it so in there. so look at the keyboard on that right yeah that's a slider so slides that underneath. keyboard slides wait, back wait, wait. so is this like it. this is like the matrix phone right yes oh. so the keyboard slides from the, from the back so you yeah. can slide that keyboard all the way up slide and it's just your everyday android device now obviously they're what what i'm interested in knowing and no one can seem to tell me is this they keep referring to the um, AOSP, which is Android Open something platform, it's their it's their open source open yeah, source platform, yeah, yeah. Um, which does not include GS GMS, which is Google Managed Services. Mm-hmm. Right. So, but if you look at the picture, they have the Play Store on there. So the big deal is, are they going to pay to have the Play Store on here, 
Because if they are, I think this will attract so many customers. Their, their initial demographic is going to be every female is going to want this because they need to be able to type on a keyboard with nails. And, and that's, that's one of the biggest gripes I hear from users at work when, when yeah. they talk about when they were upset about losing their BlackBerry. Because you guys are bringing your own device, right? bring your own device, so. and we stopped supporting BlackBerry. Oh, no. If they run Android, because the apps we use are in the App Store, mm -hmm. they're fine. Mm -hmm. Like, we have problems with people also, I think, in China, where they're not allowed to have the Google Play Store. Mm -hmm. um, so, so this, to me, this could really turn BlackBerry around, and from what I'm hearing, also, they're going to bundle some of their services on here, too. So you're... What's their chat? So it's going to be a BBM, BBM right? Uh, so it's yeah. going to be a mesh between the best of BlackBerry on Android. Yes, that seems like the way to go. And, and and if you notice over the over the last couple of years, they've really been as soon as someone releases a keyboard that resembles anything close to what they had, mm -hmm. they uh, sue they Timberlake. sue them. Timberlake. No, it, was, it was it was Brian Seacrest. I've been doing that this whole time. Uh, yeah, yeah, Seacrest. <laughs> um, so so. I mean, anytime someone comes out with a keyboard close to theirs, there was one on an Android device not not too far a couple years ago. Um, but so I think that's why they've been so hot on the idea of making sure no one steals their keyboard design. Mm -hmm. um, so so I, I just think I think it's brilliant. I, I, I can't wait to see where they go with this. I'm interested. I can't wait. I if this takes off, I hope they come out with the old school slider. Oh my gosh! Like, like where it where it slides, like the sidekick, like the sidekick. Remember the sidekick? <laughs> like that would be like. Whoa! See, Whoa. I was waiting. Josh, oh, well, there he is. To jump in. Um, as one who has spent a lot of time with sliding keyboards, anyone who seriously uses their phone is going to need three of those in a contract period. Why is it? Because they're gonna. It's gonna break. Yeah, they're gonna wear out the hinge. Yeah, because so, so, you had a sidekick. You had a couple sidekicks. Yeah, I, I had I had three sidekicks I had two. in a, a two year period, and between texting and Twitter, uh, that hinge went. How many? So I had the T. I had the T Mobile. It was a Windows phone, and it was called the Wing, <laughs> and it had the slider. I broke. We. I in, in, in Missy, a, in Missy a, had the tilt and the and the one before the tilt. I think in a, in a three year period, I broke the screen twice. But the keyboard never, never went, and I loved it. How? What about your G1? How many times did that go? Didn't that have a? I, I had two of those. Okay. Um, I had. I and as it stands, with every uh, sliding mechanism I've had on a phone, um, this includes uh, two different sidekicks, uh, the G1, the G2, and I had an an LG that had a, a push button that would flip the screen up. Mm -hmm. I had. At least two of each of those. Mm. So I mean, it's it's awesome that I'm smart enough to get insurance on all my phones because I know how I am. So uh, the second one didn't cost me anything, but yeah. still, I mean, if for people who don't want to pay the extra money for insurance, that seems like a bad idea. That now I'm under the the strong impression that BlackBerry is going to fail no matter what they do. So that's why I don't want to get I don't want to get it right away I want, I want to give it a chance to feel itself out or fail so so you, you know. want to wait out to like that 2.0 right but I guess yeah. I, look yeah. at, I look at it as if it's running Android mm -hmm. really how how bad could it be how could it go wrong right right because it's always the, the hardware has not been the problem with Blackberry right except for speed sometimes um, but and you get better and, life out of and that. the storm uh, too. It's been the <laughs> software, you know. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, I had to stand in the cold to try to uh, 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 activate my boss's phone one time because it wouldn't work inside the house and there was no Wi-Fi on the phone. Uh, so yeah, I'm really, well, BlackBerry I'm so, was I'm really so weird about, about Wi-Fi too because you couldn't you couldn't actually activate a BlackBerry without the connectivity, the cellular connectivity. They were really strict around that for a while, which was a pain in the butt. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm trying to find it right now. Samsung actually is coming out with an overlay for their devices that puts the QWERTY keyboard on the device. Mm -hmm. And it actually sits on top of the bottom portion of the Android screen. Um, so I, I don't know. I think there's, I think there's enough pent-up demand for a QWERTY keyboard. Well, when I have my BlackBerry, people look at it and go, you're a loser. I can't believe, <laughs> I can't believe you still have a BlackBerry. They, I, so what are you doing? And then not more than a minute later, they're going, I miss my BlackBerry. 
I, I, I miss the keyboard. You love the keyboard, right? So as much as they call me a nerd, they always turn around and go, I kind of still miss my BlackBerry, though. They miss that <laughs> keyboard. Mm-hmm. I mean, I even at work for, for, for speed purposes and typing, I actually have a three-channel Bluetooth keyboard <laughs> that allows me to pair with three different devices, and one of the devices is my phone. So mm-hmm. I can quickly just type out a bunch of information. So, so the Bluetooth keyboard works fine if it's in a dock or it's wherever, but the, the BlackBerry still shines through on, on the mobile from a mobile keyboard aspect. I think a lot of young, hip people, that again, they're just getting tired of the iPhone. It's up, down, different size. Now, the, the new iPhones, iPhone 6S is going to be a little tiny bit thicker. So I think already we've seen the thinnest you'll go with the iPhone. It's up, down, thick, thin. I don't think they know where they want to be. That's where I get, and every year there's a new phone. I think something cool, new, and hip could make a... Make a big, big, big surge. Mm-hmm. People love that little keyboard. It'll be, it'll be cool to have it. It's something <laughs> different, you know. I'm worried about the weight of it. If you, uh, because it's only a spec right now, but when you slide that keyboard down, and, and it's a small keyboard, is the weight of that going to tip over? How are you holding that thing? I need to because that keyboard's sliding under, so it's lengthening your phone, and that's a thinner keyboard. I'm just wondering mm-hmm. how that's going to weight. Well, it worked okay for them with the torch. The How, torch was this an looks AT&T. longer. Yeah. Yeah. It? This looks it was longer. The, the, the torch How was heavy smaller. can a phone get? But it's going to be taller. I don't, I don't it's that think tall it's, weight. That they tall they weight. used to be in bags, remember? <laughs> <laughs> I had one. I had one. You used to my carry mom, them around in a my bag. My mom had one. My mom had <laughs> one. Like yeah, it into yeah. my car. My first yeah, yeah, yeah. phone. Yeah. 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 Actually, phones. there's one up in our in our attic. It's, there's a bag phone up there. Oh, the only thing you don't have in this basement, Michael, <laughs> is a bag phone. I got to see if my mom still has hers somewhere because she's even more pack ratty than I am. So, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. On that note, uh, Chachi, I know, I don't know if you have an awesome thing. We'll get to you in a moment I, I here. I picked out a few items you to got a couple. briefly touch on. Okay. Um, okay. Wait, yeah. One moment. One moment. First, I want to kick a little bit of a, uh, a, a, a shout out to our friends, Slice on Broadway. Uh, check them out. Sliceonbroadway.com right here, right along the tracks in uh, Beachview in the South Hills here of Pittsburgh, PA, also Carnegie, PA, down on Main Street. Uh, then they uh, they cook us a pizza every week to feed our podcasters. Slice on Broadway, always supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizzas, and uh, and, 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 and you, you'll like it too. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com. Frank, you got the sample of the wares tonight. Oh, I had two slices. Two <laughs> slices of slice on Broadway. Yeah, there very go. good. There you go. Fantastic. And that's just the pepperoni pizza. Check out their gourmet stuff, especially the gonzo. It's not on the menu. Here's a little... A little tip here's a little tip it's it's a sub that they have it has goat cheese on it that doesn't sound appetizing maybe right away but trust me <laughs> trust me check it out ask for the gonzo if nothing else just to have a muppet named pizza it was just gonna it's, it's just gonna be a good night for you um but check them out they're on uh, pjh underscore slice on the twitters and look up slice on broadway on the facebook and instagram and try not to eat your blackberry uh so <laughs> and uh with that uh so uh, so, Chachi, what uh, what is your awesome thing of the week? Uh, j- just quickly, because um, I don't have like a, a new story or anything. I, I acquired a Chromebook. Yes. Probably the greatest thing recently that I've gotten other than a Wii U, which I've also acquired recently. Um, <laughs> Look at you. Uh, the Wii U is amazing, by the way. If you were doubting getting one, stop and just go buy it. But, uh, let's say, if you're a fan of Nintendo games and good good games in general, it's worthwhile, right? What Zeldas are right. out there for the Wii U? Uh, like Hyrule Warriors and, uh, and okay. Wind Waker. Right, because, I mean, we, we bought the Splatoon pack. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm impatient. So <laughs> while it was downloading, I went and bought a copy of Super Mario 3D World. Mm-hmm. Like, you physically so, went and bought that copy? Yeah. While waiting for the download. That's amazing. What, do you have DSL was, over there? What's that? <laughs> well, how how big was it, or what's your home broadband speed that it? You had time to go out and buy it while it's it was like downloaded. four gigs. I mean, that's it takes it, a while for it, me to get Xbox. Actually, it's like seven gigs. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, um, that's that's still is, significant. Yeah. Even on FiOS, that's like I got I got to go do something for a while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and I I uh, I live ten minutes away from a GameStop. Oh, that's perfect. So yeah, so it really wasn't that long of a period that I was gone. Mm-hmm. Um. So I I went I we started playing Super Mario 3D World immediately while Splatoon was downloading, and I, I both games are incredible. Um, you you would think that the gamepad is hard to use. You'd be wrong, um, and even if you don't like it, they have a a, a pro controller that you can buy, and it's just like holding a, an Xbox 360 controller. 
So, I mean, any doubts that you had about the Wii U, they're probably wrong, and you should just go give Nintendo your money. Because um, they really need it. <laughs> no, they and don't, they, actually. Oh, really? Uh, the, somebody was telling me that they have enough money stored up that they could lose money for, like, 20 years stored and be okay. Stored up, okay. Yeah, they're, they're, like, they're like in an Apple situation. So, no, they're, 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 they're fine. They're fine. Uh, to answer your earlier question, Sorry. though, Sork. Yes. Uh, Thistle C Business Development is a business coaching, strategy development, training, and business services company. Thank you. Yeah, I Googled it. You're welcome. Uh, but no, the Chromebook is perfect. It does everything I need it to do. Uh, it's essentially everything I use a computer for nowadays. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, it's the best thing I've acquired. Um, I've written uh, eight pages of a, a, a guide that I'm working on. Um, I, I'm working on a, a call, a how not to suck at Call of Duty guide. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it's eight pages long uh, currently, so I mean, it's still a ways off. I'm going to add videos and stuff to it. But um, I, I've written it entirely on my phone or the Chromebook. So, I, I mean, it's incredible. Awesome. Awesome. And say so you're already uh, it, it kind of embedded in Google having an Android phone and everything. So it's, it wasn't much of a stretch for you, right? No, everything I do is on Google. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, and, and you still have the old white iMac to do your video editing. Yeah, and that's just because you need it done. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> If you didn't need me to edit videos for you, then I wouldn't. I would really have no need for this iMac. Yeah, exactly. So. Um, I, I'm not a heavy computer user anymore. Everything I can do on a computer is done on my phone mm -hmm. or now the Chromebook. So, I mean, it's perfect. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so, so, and, and like I say, you're not the only one that, that had one. So I'm hoping we get a little bit of feedback from Dutters when she gets back from vacation as well on, uh, on hers. So cool. Uh, so we got, uh, Dutters isn't here, but I got a nap of the week because I feel like this is still worthwhile to talk about. Uh, just in general, because we love our gifts, right? Yeah, that's right. Gifts. I use I Do use something gifts every, about it. Every, almost every other day at work now. Jeff. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> at work. Jeff. At Jeff. work. Jeff. Jeff. Here we go. Jeff. 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 Jeffy. Jeff. Giffy. I'm, I'm a, a gift guy. You're a gift guy. Uh, uh, hey, I'm I am not going to argue with the guy who created it. If he says it's pronounced Jiff, it's pronounced Jiff. Man, too bad the guy that's created it is wrong. But anyways, yes. Giffy Cam, <laughs> Giffy Cam wants to be the Instagram of gifts. So now you can create your gifts with the camera right in the app. It's all good to go. Uh, so if I can pop over here, I did actually prepare a little bit uh, today. No, it went away. Never mind. I must have unplugged this at some point. Maybe, maybe. Yep. Nope. 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 No, no. Uh, but no, it's it's a camera, and it, it, and it doesn't it doesn't necessarily I don't think post to the app like it's uh, just you, it you make the gif and you, and you save it and you can put it somewhere else, right? Uh, and and that works just fine. Uh, and 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 it buzz buzz. Uh, but uh, no, if you go in here, so I'm going to pop into the app and uh, we'll just I've been having some fun with it. If you've been following me on the. Uh, on the uh, 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 Twitters and everything the last couple of days. So uh, it knocked out of it. I don't know why this isn't working. Uh, but but uh, we've had a good time uh, making some gifts. My only thing is, like, you can't... I, we talked about this off-air a little bit. Like, like usually stuff I want to make gifts off of are, like, television, right? And there's other tools that do this. But this mm -hmm. is, like, you have a chance to make something. I saw uh, Sri Srivenson from uh, the Met. He was testing this app with the fountains out front of the Met up in New York. Mm -hmm. um, we made some funny faces and said that we were judging your lunch uh, myself and uh, lb on friday you know and uh, and and it actually got a lot of reactions so but you gotta think it's a gif it's popping up it's moving right you know as you're going through there and it's just like our faces going like mm, you know um so and even like watching SummerSlam the other night, I had a chance to uh, take a few uh, images of the New Day One tag team that do these uh, uh, amazingly funny dances. Uh, so uh, it's pretty cool and kind of really easy to use. And uh, you can put sunglasses on a person too. That's that's cool. Um, so Giffy Cam, have you played with it, Annie Chilla? I've played with it a little bit. Um, I was hoping that it had a little more access to post to their library. Mm -hmm. um, it was something I was interested in. Um, one thing I will say uh, about using it or any other GIF creation program for iOS is when it saves to your camera roll, mm -hmm. it'll save as a GIF or a GIF, um, but you only get that first frame of, of the video 
or of the git of the GIF in your photo library. Um, so I actually, as a as a supplementary app that I found for this exact reason, there's GIF Viewer. It's the animated GIF player album, which will actually scan your entire photo library on your iOS device and show you all the animated GIFs. So then you can throw them an iMessage or you can see which ones they are and which what the actual video is that was mm -hmm. in there. So, so yes, I have played with it and I will actually, I love their keyboards. Um, so they're integrated with the Flexi keyboard and there's another keyboard. Um, and they're, in, they're integrated with the Wire app that we were playing with at PodCamp. So, yeah, ch I, <laughs> I, I deleted the Wire app, by the way. Oh, I, I just was not invested in that. Oh, no. But um, no, I, I use their site and I use I use their products all the time. So, definitely, you're buying products right in front of me. By the way, uh, yeah, I, I just well, saw a credit it was on, card. It was, was on like, sale, and I'm like, I have an app purchasing problem. <laughs> so you're purchasing? I don't want to steal your credit card numbers. Those. <laughs> oh, it was for some weird reason they required me to verify my card. But anyway, oh, I'm trying. And sometimes it doesn't save. Like I, 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 it doesn't always notify that I've saved it to my camera roll. Like I'm trying mm -hmm. to tweet now. And it's taken a minute. I don't know if it's because of saving the large file. Like I just saved it with my camera roll like like eight times sitting here. Um, all right, testing Giphy Cam on At Mayhem Show. So uh, our our Twit person out there, if you can please uh, send that along. Uh, but uh, go check it out Giphy Cam. Um, and and if you haven't yet, Giphy on the iPhone is really cool too. Uh, just like get stuff to send out. So it's so easy to GIF anymore. GIF. Yeah, not, on not on a BlackBerry. Not on a BlackBerry. Except not on a BlackBerry. I still have a Polaroid. I have to take my photo mat to get my pictures developed. <laughs> I got photo I mat can't take, I, I, I gotta go to I gotta go to Rite Aid if I take pictures on my uh, BlackBerry. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, so uh, there's our app of the week. Uh, hey guys, I want to throw out a reminder. Uh, first of all, we got a whole bunch of great shows here at SorgatronMedia.com. In a moment, I'm going to toss to uh, what happened last week in uh, in Sorgatron Media. But, of course, please go check out things. Uh, we also have Sorgatron Media Services. Uh, if you're interested in podcasting, if you need help with videos, if you need anything else, hey, we've won awards uh, for a cool little show we did called Unsung for the Pittsburgh Foundation. Chachi was a part of that as he's sitting back down here. Uh, and we, uh, we work with a lot of companies on social media, video, storytelling. So if you're interested, if we can give you a hand, please check us out, sorgatronmedia.com. Hit the contact page, and uh, we'll see if we can help you. Now let's go check out what else was going on on Sorgatron Media last week. First thing I see right off the bat is uh, the Red Pirate Rogers, which is the homage to uh, Princess Bride, which is probably one of my favorite movies. I was like, oh, this is awesome because it's <laughs> the 80s. I, I struggle with the term, you know, the, the social media expert term because mm -hmm. I think we're all learning all the time. And, and I think that's the best part about it. I learned that we almost fought over how to use Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> and You're like, exactly, the kids are using I'm it. I'm trying like, no, not to. What would it take to make you stop watching pro wrestling? What path does an NXT superstar need to take to succeed on the main roster? What went wrong with Roman Reigns and how can it be fixed? What <laughs> would we have the same Royal Rumble backlash if not for Daniel Bryan? If you could bring anyone in to run the WWE, who would it be? What should the WWE give up for Lent? Is the WWE Hall of Fame sustainable? What do the Divas need? More match time or better storylines? Is there a place for the kind of training that got Bill DeMott in trouble? What is your WWE Hall of Fame criteria? We are back. Go check out all that stuff at SorgatronMedia.com. And uh, Chachi, there was something that Chachi neglected to bring up in his awesome things things of the week. Uh, but we're catching up with him. So so what, what else did you... You made a lot of purchases this week. <laughs> in the past couple weeks. Okay. Uh, we also got a soda stream, mm -hmm. uh, which is incredible. I, I'm not going to lie. I, I've been hooked on this stuff called Dr. Pete. Um. Essentially, it's oh, what it is. It's a, a machine where you can uh, uh, make your own sodas at home mm -hmm. instead of buying cases of it. Because um, I love my, my Cherry Coke Zero, and the girlfriend loves her uh, Diet Coke. And so, uh, yeah, it, it's incredible. So, so when we were talking about this the other day, you said this is like the, uh, the Keurig of, uh, of soda. It is. Uh, mm -hmm. it, you take... Uh, pre-chilled bottles of water uh, it, you have to the bottle it comes with one bottle you have to buy more 
Um, and you, you put it in the fridge, let it chill, hook it up to the machine, and you pump the, the CO2 into it. But and you then add you flavors. add uh, whatever flavoring that you want to it. Um, and it's anything that's carbonated, essentially. Um, we have uh, uh, seltzer water flavors as well as uh, various different, uh, like lemonade and different sodas and stuff. So hmm. um, pretty incredible. So do you have to, it takes do like you, 45 seconds. Do you buy their that. bottle or What's is it that? any bottle? You, I, I didn't. One more time. Do you have to buy their bottle? Like, is it the right. proprietary bottle? Can you reuse the bottle? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a dishwasher safe, um, completely reusable bottle. Hmm. Hmm. And you fill it up so, with just like your, not tap water, you fill it up with water, your own water, right? Yeah. And it Yeah, that's, it. yeah it, whatever water you want. If you prefer bottled water, you can use that. If you want just tap water, you can use that. Uh, not really an issue. And they sell you fl- flavor packets, or is it flavor liquid or syrup? It, it, it's it's like a syrup. You get um, you can buy the bottles of the syrup or variety packs. The bottles themselves make uh, fifty liters oh. of the drink. Do you, does it use a cartridge for the CO two, or does it somehow? I have a we have a, a thirty liter cartridge, um, or not cartridge, but tank that you buy. Um, and broken down, depending on how much soda or uh, carbonated beverages you drink, um, the cartridges, uh, the tanks are like $35 for 30 liters, and uh, the syrups are anywhere from uh, 3 to $8, depending on what you get. Uh, and so, I mean, overall, it does actually save you money. Hmm. But And I can make any flavor I want. Yeah. And I can make it vodka infused. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Stop. <laughs> really? So I can use any liquid. Yeah. But you add as it long as you as long as you yeah. clean the machine. Well yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi grandma, you want a soda? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, yeah, because awesome. it, uh, it has a little it has a little nozzle that goes down into the liquid that sprays the the CO two into it. Oh. So if you're going to use something other than water, then you got to make sure to clean that out mm-hmm. or clean that off when you're done with it. But yeah, you can infuse you can make any beverage carbonated and alcoholic. And alcoholic. <laughs> and there's the key. <laughs> well, coming so, soon to Sorgatron Media is a soda stream in the studio apparently. <laughs> Uh, so there's that. Uh, awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, there are actually some news items. Not that we have a lot of time to really get into a lot of things. Uh, but we do have to give a shout out to a uh, happy birthday, Windows 95. Because uh, it's uh, 20 years old as of two yesterday. Yeah, yeah. It's almost old enough to drink. Uh, I was uh, <laughs> celebrating by, by playing the Start Me Up uh, a commercial for uh, with the Rolling Stones for, for uh, somebody... At my one uh, workplace yesterday. Uh, so, uh, and also, there's some great videos on the article that we were sharing um, over uh, via The Verge, I think, uh, of them dancing to the music on stage like a bunch of happy, way too rich nerds that they are. <laughs> Look at them go. <laughs> Especially Steve Ballmer <laughs> he is. was having a day. Holy crap. <laughs> Jeez. Um, they were really excited about this. But, I mean, it was a big deal, though. I mean, it was, it was a game changer. I mean, you know, for me, it was like Windows 95. I was like, oh, we need to get a new computer. And I think uh, 96, we ended up getting one. Uh, but, you know, I remember reading the magazines on this. I remember, uh, Chilla, this had been a big big uh, point in your life. I had it on diskette. You had it on diskette? It was like 13 wow. diskettes. Wow. And I remember the big deal was it had its own TCP IP stack. So to get on the internet. You, did, you didn't have to pay for, like, Trumpet Windsock mm-hmm. or jump on AOL. So we, didn't even bar, we didn't even bother with any internet until until Windows 95, to be quite honest. I don't think we were able to at that point. We had, you had to pay for extra. You had to pay to actually get an IP address. You had to wow. pay for the software that got you the IP address. Wow. Um, but I'm trying to remember, is, was it 95 or 98 that the Weezer... It was, was 95. Was on the, on I believe it was 95. On the CD. Because later on, I, I ended up that. getting it on CD as well. I remember well. that. 
Uh, because that was that like the big like get it on CD so you got these like extra things and games and stuff mm-hmm. like the multimedia because it was multi this is a multimedia PC right um, you know it, it, CD ROMs were a big thing we had full motion video games Wing Commander man uh, you know stuff like that and uh, and and this was a big kind of uh, uh, point to that I, I it was DirectX wasn't introduced yet was it. Not, not, not until I don't think initially, but but you you could get the plus pack. Ooh, plus pack! You could get the plus pack with the extra themes and oh. the extra mouse cursors and the icons. Oh, oh, I I definitely had that. I remember destroying my machine with an insane clown posse theme one time. It was <laughs> it was annoying as hell. Every time I made an error, tell me to f off. You yeah, remember that, Shachi? And then like when like like you know what that that, th- that point where it's like. Like uh, like multiple bing 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 bing. It's like have off, have off, have off. It's like uh, yeah, yeah. Those were the days, right? I remember that because it would get stuck and it would just tell me to f off like over and over again. <laughs> the computer was so angry at you. Sometimes or anyone a, who used it. Sometimes it would wake us up in the middle of night when like <laughs> yeah, when Chachi was sleeping up, was was hanging out and stuff, right? So yeah, because. Uh, we'd be downloading something, most likely Napster, and it would fail, and it'd be like, F off. Like, shit, what did I do now? I was sleeping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it, it, it's wonderful to wake up in the middle of the night and your computer is swearing at you, uh, which you could do these days, but uh, but we were definitely experimenting at that so, time. So DirectX 1 was embedded in Windows 9. It was, it was, okay. It was the Windows 32 replacement for DCI and the WinG APIs from Windows 3.1. Oh geez, those were the days. Hey, do you guys have any, you have any Frank? Do you have any Windows ninety five memories that didn't didn't no. involve swearing at you <laughs> or no. swearing at it? No, I, I really don't. I can't offer much to this. I'm an Apple guy. Then when, oh. when all that Windows stuff was happening, I didn't know. I didn't know what I was. You doing. were trying I, what, true was it, back in the you're day, on huh? OS seven. Was that was it? OS seven. Like what was the? Well, there's that cube. You have that. Uh, I can't see it on there. There's that cube. What's that cube you have on the floor there? That Mac. Oh, the iMac. Apple, the iMac. Oh, that, that's that's like around two thousand. Yeah, yeah, two thousand nine. That's that's OS nine. That's yeah. OS nine. So I mean, it was still so like almost like the LC two beige boxes. weren't they weren't they doing power PCs yeah. at that point or something? I don't know. All, all my Windows stuff went down with the porn I watched. <laughs> I couldn't keep it active, no matter what I put in there. It was porn, porn. <laughs> that's all I cared about. Porn. Blew it oh, up with porn. Geez. That's my Windows ninety five memories. <laughs> So System 7 was released in 91. 91. Was it still around? It was around in I'm sure it was in some aspect, right? 3 and 4. Yeah, I was not... I wasn't tech savvy. Wasn't into tech, computers, any of that stuff when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Really wasn't until around like 1995 or 96 that I, that, that I kind of got into it. Mm-hmm. I hated it. I just avoided it. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just... I was dumb. I didn't know what to type in, what to do, how to use it, and I just didn't care back then. Mm-hmm. But now I, I care about tech and stuff like that, but I didn't care back then. Wow. I have no stories about it, unfortunately. I feel like a, <laughs> I'm lost in this conversation for sure. Chachi, do you have any other memories other than my computer swearing at you? Um, no. All, most of my memories started at Windows 98. Yeah. Um, so and Windows 95 was there for a little bit for me, but as soon as I got my hands on 98, it was, it was over. Mm-hmm. It was over. Yeah. Oh, I mean, no more auto check like that and config sys. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Windows 98 had the uh, Encarta like, maze game. What? I, I don't remember what it was called, but in the uh, Encarta software, there was like a, a maze game that you could play. You could put it in like psychedelic like, mode? Wasn't there like an animated psychedelic mode to it? Yeah, Encarta? there was. Yeah. yeah. The, the it had like a hidden maze. There was like an Easter egg. Hold on, I'm looking it up. I'm looking this up. We're gonna get this. All right. In the meantime, Chilla, wh- tell me how why I'm gonna pay two hundred dollars for Google's on hub router. Oh my! Also, oh, be the last one before we get out of here. That's your story, but is I'll, that my I'll story? Run with it. No, I figured that's one of yours. No. Like, wait, I mean, I figured like, knowledge wise, you're you're keeping so honest, so right? that 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 it's device fancy. was released at like eight o'clock at night. Yeah, and then like was sold out within minutes. And it, I think it's back ordered through October right oh, now. Oh, jeez! <laughs> but they're gonna. But it's supposed to be like at Walmart, right? Yeah. Um, this device has thirteen antennas on it. It's pretty. It is pretty. Yeah. It comes in blue and black. It has, uh-huh. a, it has a, a a light on the top. It has a small speaker. Um, there's not, and it, and it's 
it's definitely like ready for the future. They they talk about all this stuff about it's eight oh two fifteen title three ready. And it's like it's a bunch of stuff ready. So stuff that hasn't even been like when we talked about remember the days of early eight oh two eleven N and and how there was no standard really around right, it. Right, it, right, right. They're they're talking about how it's already ready for standards that really haven't hit hit the public yet. Mm -hmm. Um but the third so what this does is the thirteen antennas, there's one that's always looking for the best channel mm -hmm. and it will actually switch channels on the fly because it can it can use that thirteenth antenna to, to to look at all twelve channels and then pretty much reactivate your network without rebooting. Okay. Um it's a pretty slick device. I think it has a USB port on the back of it. I'm hoping that it'll it be able to speaker drive. Sure. Yeah, it has a speaker on it. So here's, I mean, it's a three watt speaker, so it's not going to be that loud. No. Um, where I think that's going to come in handy is your. You, there was something that Google was doing, where you could wirelessly transfer information via sound. Yeah, yeah. High pitched frequency that we can't hear. Right, right. We we were kind of like, what are they going to use this what for? Are they and use like it we for? were we were sending like links to websites through this stuff. Mm -hmm. We were we were playing with it and we were like like sent something out over the podcast and hoping people would use it. Yeah. So so it can do that. I'm wondering if that's part of the configuration if you have a device cuz it it does some some uh newer Bluetooth technology as well. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if it's just one of the ways it configure or it can talk to other devices. Um, so the one of the that 802 um, spec that I was talking about is used by Zigbee and a bunch of home automation for closed personal networking. Um, so it's two hundred dollars is a pretty decent price point. Um, this also I've heard is the hub that they actually give you with Google Fiber. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just one way that they can continue to make money in in other areas that don't have fiber. Mm -hmm. um, I'm interested to see how well it works. You can pair them up together to expand the network across your house. Um, I think it's an exciting moment, and what I think it's really going to do, or at least I hope it does, is really push the other manufacturers forward on what they do. I don't. I don't feel like I've seen a lot of out of like Linksys or D-Link or anything like that. Really trying to change the way they do it. I think they they're resting on their laurels, as some some people say. So I, I'm hoping this pushes us in a new direction of home networking. Uh, you you seem to be like the hodgepodge of various devices around the house. I mean, would you think about consolidating if you could, or uh, potentially? You... I mean, but the biggest thing for me is the bandwidth because I, I felt like uh, everything was going over one Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. and that was uh, detrimental to my video watching experience. So, so this will also let you pick devices to prioritize. So okay, okay. That's, so if you want to, it, it sounds like it's generally smarter as yes. far as these go. So the question, uh, the, the thing I'm interested in is what what is Google doing with the information? Oh, you, of yeah. course. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Or is it going to be an opt in thing? Or are they going to let you? Are they going to watch your traffic? How's that going to work? Yeah, you're going through like the Google domain or something, yeah. right? Are they going to use Google Google DH or DNS? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like that'll be like the default on something like this. Mm -hmm. So, Chachi, by the way, I uh, did some digging while we were talking about this, and I found the Encarta oh. 98 Mind Maze game review up here. So, what wow. you go in here? Now, I think I had Encarta 96, so that's why I didn't experience the Mind Maze. Uh, let's see, again, interactivities. They're like going through everything. Where's the actual maze at? There we go. Is this what you're yeah. talking about? Yep. Oh, there that. you go. This looks amazing. This is some multimedia. It was amazing. I wasted so much time on the computers in school on this stupid, stupid thing, and I wish I could have it back today. Let's see, ninety-eight. I think we still had uh, Apple two E's in ninety-eight. So, yeah. Um, anyway, so that is your awesome things across the millennia. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, a little preview. One day we're going to start the this old tech show. Uh, that we've been talking about for a while. We have some ideas about that. Uh, but anyways, Chachi, thank you for joining us. Insert coin to begin dot com. Yeah, yeah, I was here. It was here again. Thank you so much um, for joining us. Uh, insert coin to begin dot com. Also, you know what? I'm not going to say much, but watch Friday. Watch my Twitter on Friday. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, I'm going to use it in an unorthodox way. <laughs> It'll blow your mind. <laughs> Something very significant is going to happen on Twitter on Friday. For me, at least, yes. Yes, yes. 
So uh, hopefully we'll have a good sto- social media story. Maybe that'll be a podcast session, whether uh, good or ill. It could be a, a <laughs> cautionary tale for others, right? Right. So right. Awesome. Go check it at Chachi says on the Twitters. Frank, thank you for joining us. Pittsburgh Podcast. Yeah, I was doing it right. Podcast. Pittsburgh Podcast Network. Damn it. You got it. Pittsburgh Podcast Network. Yes. I Media. Seven in the City. What else? Uh, Blackberry. Uh, there you go, Blackberry. Yeah, what's thank up? You guys. What's great, up? Great to meet you guys. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming on. Thanks for doing the interview. Thanks for doing the double header here of awesomeness tonight. Um, and of course, Chilla at Chilla on the Twitters. Josh Chilla on the Facebooks. Mm-hmm. Doing all kinds of tech. Don't forget to go there. check out what is it? Uh, Ohio Linux. Ohio Linux Fest, Fest is coming up. I think we're going to talk with them. I think we're booking them on September twenty second to <laughs> talk with us again, as they did last year. I actually, saw Susan. She was in a yes. session or two at the uh, podcast, mm-hmm. as uh, she usually is. So, uh, uh, if you're in Columbus or one big on the Linux and want to go out to Columbus, uh, uh, go check out oh, uh, OhioLinux.org. As we get closer, I'll get the details a little firmer in the. Uh, in the, in the box uh so uh check out everything else awesomecast.net all of our shows subscribe to things on uh itunes on youtube on uh, spreaker iHeartRadio, wherever the heck else we are these days oh dutter's on the beach again and she tagged me in this one so we're going to check out her periscope in a moment as well uh and so much more uh and uh thank you to our awesome chat room join us live.awesomecast.net we usually get going about 6 30 p.m eastern time and uh, you can join us there and, uh, and, and get into things and tell us uh, what you're using uh, for your keyboardy uh, 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 I, or, or a phone thing. Are you a BlackBerry fan? You know, I was trying to get that out of some chat room tonight. Um, and uh, that's it. Check out everything. Sorgatronmedia.com. Videos up to podcamppittsburgh.com. And I'm hoping to get some uh, uh, better ones and some of that are missing over in this next week. Now that I don't have a million events going on uh, right after another, I can breathe a little bit and do some of this other work. Uh, thank you to our awesome chat room. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.